the glare out of my face. Good morning and welcome to Win the Day. I'm here to make sure that we're staying focused, that every single day matters, every single day in our business counts, and that we have to stay focused on getting things done so that we don't look up and it's one month, one year, or a decade later, and we've just had business ideas and we have not been implementing or doing anything with them. So I am Tanika D'Souza, the 100K Challenge Chick. Thank you guys for joining me. Welcome. If you are joining from the podcast, good morning or whatever time you chose to listen. And if you're on YouTube, thank you so much for being with me. You can leave comments on YouTube. So absolutely tell me how this has been useful, how you are using these lessons so that we can start the conversation right there in the comments. And for all of you who are joining me live on Facebook, welcome. Today might definitely be a day that you have questions. So feel free to join into the conversation. So the title is one that I know we all struggle with, which is how do you choose what you're going to actually pursue in your business? So for example, I know a ton of you have a lot of ideas. I know you do because when I talk to my clients, we all do the same thing. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> it's called the notebooks. They're full. Mine are, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like this is like full notebooks of ideas. Like I can just open one. This is like outlining some email sequences. This is talking about how to speak and what I should be doing when I do speaking engagements. This is like pricing structure. I just don't stop, right? And this is like one notebook and I can pick up three that are in front of me. <laughs> And I know you guys do this. I know you do because it's a natural, normal thing while you're thinking, while you are pondering, while you're coming up with these awesome ideas. What do you do with them? So we tend to write it down. I am at least getting better. Even though I showed you three notebooks, um, I'm getting better to use my computer more so that way I can easily find the information when I'm ready to execute on it. But the, re the reality is I'm not going to stop having ideas, right? I have a lot of them. I am pursuing a few, only a few of them in my business. So what is it that helps me to decide? And what is it that you should use to help you to, to decide whether this is going to be a business? Am I going to be able to make money or whether this is just an idea and I should just pass this on? So the first thing I'm going to tell you is there's the word focus. If you've never used it um, or understood what it stands for, focus, the word is an acronym that a lot of people use. And it stands for follow one course until successful. Follow one course until successful. That is the word focus. So first and foremost, you have to decide, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to accomplish. Here's the time frame in which I'm going to accomplish it and stay focused on that idea. The problem that most of us have is we've never focused in on any ideas. Therefore, that's why they all stay ideas. You didn't even give it an opportunity to grow, to flourish, for you to put some real energy behind it so that you can decide whether this could be a viable business option. So staying focused is one way that if you are working, like for example, I've been sharing with you guys that in the month of May, I am launching a membership. So it's not necessarily that I'm launching it to the general public, but this is my month to like get all my ducks in a row to focus on what I want this to look like. Who are the clients that I'm attracting? Make sure that I have everything in place for them. So May is my like, go, 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 get it done month. But prior to May, I had a lot of ideas of what I should do next with my business. So what I did was 
decide what is going to be the best next step for my clients. I have a lot of really awesome ideas of things that I'm willing to do, but what's going to be the best next thing for them? And what I already offer is one-on-one coaching, which at this point is more of a premium offer. I used to do introductory rates that made it a lot less expensive. I'll just use that because it's definitely worthwhile right now. And then I offered my accelerator program, which is my signature course. So that's also not on the lower end of a budget or necessarily for a person who is just completely in the starter um, in the starter space. So what I did was consider, okay, there's a lot of people who are listening to me that are absolutely starting and absolutely in that space where they're still balancing their full-time job, um, trying to get their business off the ground, even if they are making money, most of them are still going to be somewhere between that idea and under $30,000 a year. So if you have figured out how to make about $2,000, maybe even $3,000, but not necessarily consistently, then I wanted to create something for you. I also wanted to focus on the person who was starting because that's when you're having the most questions. And to me, really, most of your journey to $100,000 is going to be questioned because that person who's making about $3,000 a month, they have to make a decision. Am I doing this efficiently? Am I doing this in a way that can scale? And most often they have to now introduce an additional business model into their business. They have to make really smart decisions about how they're going to continue to grow. And that takes, you need some coaching (laughs) to help you get that done so that you're getting your questions answered and that you're continuing to move forward. So that's what I decided. I, I looked at my clients first and said, what is it that they need? If you are starting, what I want you to do is consider what can I start with and just choose one service and one price, the end. You don't need 10 things. You don't need a product suite. You don't need to meet people at every stage of their development. You need to focus on one stage, one person, get some clients, get in the rhythm of working your business, and then start to expand. Like I just told you guys, I was doing one-on-one coaching. I went to doing my signature coaching program. So that went from one-on-one to group, but a very specific group. And now I'm doing group in a different way through a membership platform. So I didn't start my business. I didn't confuse my clientele. I didn't confuse myself. And I'm still doing the same business. I'm still helping people to be coached in their business for them to get the answers that they need to provide a system for them to create a community that they can belong to. That's what this membership is going to offer. Um, I'm still focused on the original plan. So how do you decide what is the original plan, especially when you're starting, right? Is this idea worth it? Because I know for some of you, you're like, even me, like I own a bakery, so I can do things just for bakers or hospitality industry. I love coaching businesses. I used to work with network marketers like exclusively. Um, and then what else? I'm a I'm a minister. <laughs> so if you leave me with a mic long enough, you're gonna get a whole sermon, a whole everything. That's another avenue I could be pursuing right now. I also am a wedding officiant. I have officiated lots of weddings, um, lots of them for my own family members and outside. So that is a whole business that I have something separate. So when it came to like me focusing in and deciding like what area do I want to go in? I know a lot of you are in that same space. You have so many skills, so many talents, so many things that you could do. But what I want you to focus on is which of those things is going to help you, one, play at your strengths. Like it's something that you want to do, you desire to do. And two, what's going to fit into your lifestyle right now? So like for me, I want to transition out of a commercial kitchen. I don't want 
clients controlling all of my time. So I chose to do this business coaching and I'm doing it virtually. Everything's online. I love it. Um, and I really can see this being my future. I really can see how I can build this thing out. So that's the, the second part that I wanted you guys to consider is first is to focus. Follow one course until successful. So to me, I'm still following my course of business coach. I did the one-on-one. -on -one, I did the um, the signature program. And now I'm opening the third thing for my business, for my clientele, which is that membership platform. I'm still focused on making myself successful as a business coach. I didn't go and start doing 20 different things all at one time. I focused in on this one thing. How you're going to make that decision. Out of all the things that I named, what I knew I could sell, what I knew I could make money with was business coaching. The thing that makes something worthwhile as a business is one, can you focus on it? Does it fit into what you're trying to do, like your strengths, your lifestyle? Is this something your clients actually need from you? And then three, can you think of ways that you can make money doing this? When I wrote down in my awesome little notebooks how I can make money as a business coach, I could write pages. So that left me in a place where it was like, okay, let me pick and choose what I'm going to do first, what I'm going to do next evaluate what my clients need, add the next thing, and I'm not going to run out of ideas. For a lot of you, you just think because it's a worthy and worthwhile idea, I have to pursue it. And the reality is that's a ministry thing. If you just want to go out and help the world and do all of that, that's awesome. Like I said, I am an ordained pastor. I totally understand ministry. I totally understand calling. I totally understand purpose. But the op not the opposite, but a different thing is business. Business, you are there to make money. You are there to have clients. You are there to build income and revenue. You are not there to have a really awesome, fun time and then basically deplete your savings. The entire point of doing ministry is to, especially Christian ministry, right? Is to win souls to Christ. So there's no money. There's no um, monetary success that goes into ministry. However, if you tell me that you're in business, then I'm going to talk to you about your money. I'm going to talk to you about the ways that you're making money, how that's working for you, and how you see this growing as a business. A lot of you confuse ministry, the things that you feel called to do, the things you feel passionate to do, the things that you just want to go out and serve the whole wide world and do. You confuse that with business. It's not the same. Unless you can figure out how can I make money with this idea, it's not a business. So that's the first place that you're going to start. What are what of your ideas are really just like passion projects, um, definitely more ministry related? It doesn't mean you won't pursue them, but just stop calling it a business because in your head, you're confusing yourself. And when you tell me, or other people that this is going to be my business, but you put no effort into making money, just don't call it a business. Just change the name. It's kind of like somebody saying, oh, I know all the things that kids should learn, so I'm going to call myself a teacher, but you don't do anything to teach anybody, to educate anyone, to impart information to them, but you want to wear the title teacher. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't mean that your idea is invalid. Just don't put the wrong uh, name on it. A business is intended to make money. A business is there to bring profits. A business should have ways that it can be scalable and make you like an endless amount of money. And that's where a business coach comes in, especially one like me. I, I talk all about how you're going to make money. That is my focus. I talk to, I help my clients 
break that 100K income ceiling. Some of it is mental. Some of it is that you don't have a system or structure in place for your business. And a lot of it is you have no idea what your options are to actually make money. I find that to be the biggest problem. And I actually teach it for free. So if you guys want to go back, actually the videos only stay up for a few minutes, but I mean, not minutes, but um, a few days after coaching week. But check out my next coaching week. You can go to 100kchallengechick.com. And the big thing I focus on is creating your money ladder. And you're like, what the heck is a money ladder? Well, money ladder is like my system, but it really helps you think, what is the thing that I'm going to focus on? Remember talking about staying focused? And then how am I going to make money? And I actually literally use a ladder and I walk you up the ladder. So first is focus. You need to figure out what is it that I'm going to focus on? And then how can I make a consistent $1,000? How can I make a consistent $2,000, 3500 How am I making a consistent 5000 And then finally the 10000 Because to me, once you figure out how you're making a $10,000 a month, you have broken your 100 k income ceiling, especially once you have considered... How can I do this on a consistent basis? So your money ladder is important because it is the tool that helps you stay focused. I was I joined somebody else's um, live yesterday, and it's funny because the woman who was doing the live, she had been um, one of my students for coaching week. And when I jumped on and just said, hey, the challenge chick is here, you know, and just kind of adding some fun to their comment stream. She was like, oh my gosh, you guys got to take her class. You got to go over there and learn from her because my money ladder was all jacked up. And that's the thing. When you realize that you have this awesome idea, here's the thing you want to focus on, but you have never taken the time to consider, how can I make money with this? What is my path to making this a business and not just an idea? then your money ladder is jacked up because you're not spending any decent time figuring out how you're going to make money from your idea. So is it all about the money? No. I said it started with the idea. Like your idea has to be solid. It has to be something that you can bring to the world. You are a solution for other people, but you shouldn't be a solution for other people if you're calling yourself a business and not make any money for that solution, right? So people come to me because I'm a business coach. I have 13 years of experience in business. There's a ton of stuff that just is so natural and quick for me. And that is what you pay a business coach for, their experience, their expertise, their knowledge to help you. It's not that I think I'm some amazing person. I have my own coaches as well. The point is, You go to someone to help you. So why shouldn't you charge when people need to come to you for the the help and for your expertise? Why? So it starts with focus. Follow one course until successful. And then second, it's you figuring out how you're going to monetize that idea. So this month, I will be with you guys for coaching week at the last week of May. So, yeah, was that right? So, yes. So I will put it up, but you can go to 100kchallengechick.com. When you sign up in there, it'll send you the information about the challenge. So thank you guys so much for being with me. Thank you for joining the podcast. You can catch the podcast anywhere that you're used to listening to podcasts. But I am excited to hear about these businesses that you guys are working on, Um, these businesses that are going to bring you income, these businesses that you're going to focus on, okay? It can be something that you're super passionate about, but if you don't take the time to figure out how I'm turning that passion and me coaching or being an expert or teaching or whatever it is that I do to make money, how can I stay focused in this field, 
but turn it into a business. If you're not willing to do that exercise, then you don't have a business. So I'm encouraging you guys to consider your money ladder. Make sure that you are systemizing the ways that you're going to make money and grow your business. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'd love to hear what you're working on. I'd love to hear how this is helping you to focus. Are there ways that you now are kind of percolating in your head like you're right? I need to focus on how I'm making money with this, not just creating a new idea and another new idea, um, but just staying the course and building my business. So thank you guys so much. I know a lot of you chat with me in the um, DMs and the direct message and messenger, and that's fine. And you're also welcome to just leave comments here. I will get those just the same. Thanks. Have a great day.